23, so, oh, in fact, uh, Sumbat Mar Margarian, I beg your pardon, a change there, but 105 kilos on the bar for the under-23 champion of two years ago. Very straightforward. Well, he had planned to come out at 105. And the bar going up. Now second attack. Sambat Margarian, Armenia, third attack. Oleg Sergi is next lift down. And it should be Oleg Sergi who is the next man out here. And 108 kilos being asked for on the bar, which tells you that as far as warm ups concerned. Arguably gone just a little bit better than planned as he comes out onto the stage now. So 108 to get going here. Sigi, 55, 89, coming down from 62 kilos. So he's at the heavy end of this class. In fact, he's the second heaviest. And unfortunately, not the start he was uh, looking for. Earlier in the day, we had uh, a B group. Uh, not too many competitors in that. Uh, there were three. And uh, one of them from uh, Azerbaijan ultimately uh, disqualified. Uh, rather strange situation, a chap called Valentin Christoph, who was formerly from Bulgaria and was transferring to Azerbaijan. But uh, it was established rather strangely after the competition that his papers were not in order. And so, uh, unfortunately, his efforts of this afternoon have been cancelled out. And the man who actually now has the best performance from the B group is a chap called uh, Francisco Garrido of Spain, who snatched 110 kilos, clean and jerk 134 for a 244 total. So technically at the moment, uh, Francisco Garrido with 110 kilos is in the lead, but he's not going to hold on to that for too long, I don't think. Now because of that failure by uh, this man, Oleg Sigi, a second attempt now coming out. Just looking at his uh, performance last year, not a great, the great percentage, only 50% of his lifts made in Minsk last year. And previously, I remember back in 2008 actually in Lignano in Italy, he failed to get a total in the Europeans, so he doesn't have great stats. Much better, good correction. Very fast, good explosive whip there with the single flowing movement to put the bar millimeter perfect above his head, three white lights, and gets him on his way. But tonight, today is gonna be really crucial with just two kilos separating all the men. Anyone who puts six out of six here is gonna go very close to getting a gold medal or at least a medal of some color in the overall championship race. Really nice. Hips absolutely perfectly positioned, nicely balanced. You can see here as he drives up there, feet together in line, and uh, that's a good correction. 110 kilograms on the bar, please. 110 kilograms on the And 110 kilos going on the bar now. And it's going to be for the first appearance of the other Moldavian. This is the man who's a a year older than Oleg Siergi. This is Gennady Dudogi. And a runner-up two years ago in the under-23 European Championships, which are now beginning to provide such a vital link between juniors and the seniors. 
really keeps the athletes interested, occupied, gives them another target to go for. That should be fine. Three white lights indeed. Always nice to get the first one under the belt, particularly when it's a weight which you should be able to accomplish without too much trouble. He was fifth in Europe, uh, Dudoglu, last year and actually snatched 122 kilos. Uh, sorry, um, uh, actually snatched 115 kilos, I should say, in the World Championships in Antalya. So 110 was a weight that should be easily within him. Now, the defending champion looking for a fifth European title in this bodyweight class. 110 opener. Vitaly uh, Devanov, right on the money in terms of that's what he planned to come out on. Vitaly, who was the winner of this title in 2002, 2003, 6 and 10. Didn't uh, get a medal in the Olympics in Beijing, didn't get a total there, and came close to a medal in Athens, but just was denied by body weight and pushed back down into fourth place. And in fact, he was uh, set at Artuch, one of his rivals tonight, who got that particular bronze medal. So, Margarian for Armenia. Armenia have got a very strong team here. And this man just 18 years of age, so potentially a huge amount of improvement. The hips went back, the bar was in front, and I think we'll be out in very short measure to try that again. I think he may well uh, follow himself here. Just looking ahead to one or two of the other opening weights. Uh, Gokhan Kilic of Turkey, 113, same as Sedat Artuch. And uh, Florin Kratoro uh, of Romania, the real young man of the party at 115. So interesting to see whether those change. So Magarian, he's got plenty of time, over a minute and a half, to come out and do something of a repair job here. And probably needs to do that to keep himself in the mix. Magarian, who totaled 255 last year behind Durbanov and only missed the gold medal by a kilo. Because if he'd got a kilo more by body weight, he would have taken the European Championship. But this looks to be a whole lot more competitive this year. Now, when you see a bar lost in front, all too often, the correction means it's going to be lost behind. This time it was lost in front again, but that's a setback for him. He's left on 105. That's not good news. So one out of three, but know what to do. Do it! Head down, a bit disconsolate. He's got to pick himself up. Coaches have got to work with him. Not all is lost. And Tom Gugaboa from Belgium. Something like his 13th European Championship appearance. He's been on an international stage since 1993. The 2009 European Champion. Coached by his dad, who's backstage. It's very much a family affair. Technical, not strength. Posted 109 as an opener, coming at uh, 
one in 11 trying to sneak a bit of an advantage early on this is dad on the right nursing a, a damaged knee Tom who did a 252 total when he won the title in Bucharest well there's not a man under 260 entered at the moment in terms of the whole field so it is really a question to make these lifts they can get away with one failure but if you want to be on that medal podium at the end of this evening you've really got to start to get the percentages up so we'll give him that one but he can't afford another miss Keen computer man's got a really good weightlifting uh, website of his own. Uh, really bright guy. Really worked hard to earn his place in the Olympic Games. Great credit to him. He was never really going to get a medal at the Olympic Games, but I tell you what he did do. He made every one of his six lifts there for a 251 total. Hey. Now 111 kilos on the bar. This is not his enemy, but in a way some of them use it as an enemy to build up the aggression. You have to be aggressive as well as technically perfect. Tom, come on. Well done. Good recovery. You have to connect the brain with the body in this game, and that's exactly what he did. So we're back in play now. Still some way to go. And he's going to need a bit more than that. He, he did 114, 116. That's the sort of zone. And he's now going to make a very interesting decision where he goes. I've got a hunch that he might not put more than three kilos on for the third attempt. But that might be good enough to keep him in play. This is where backstage the coaching team, they come into play. They keep an eye on the opposition. Chadovic. He's 18. Tom Gugaber, you just saw. 36, twice his age. Chadovic, under 23. European champion. Won all the golds in Limassol. Did 117, 140 for a 257. Very useful numbers. 112 here to open. Slight helicopter turn, but no problem. Feet are in line. He'll get that. Three whites. Gain. Just nice to get that first one. Nerves just subside a little bit. So Chadovic, not uh, with the body weight advantage in the sense that he is the heaviest of the class. And now comes uh, Siergi from Moldavia. So it's Belarus in the lead. Siergi, who's slipped down to sixth place. And this is uh, a fair increase. Four kilos, up to 112. And by lighter body weight, this would take him from sixth into the lead. Better and better and better. And good reaction there. Nice to see the fire in the belly. So he's awake. He's up for it. He wants it. That's good. So he had a setback, 108. He repaired, and then he improved. Need to put it in context, though. When he was a 62 kilo lifter, he was snatching 122 kilos, which is 10 more than he's just lifted.
Gokhan Kilic, the first of the two Turks, the younger of the two at 23 years of age. find out is his teammate the former champion Artuch is he on the way out is this the man who's on the way in for the Turks at this particular bodyweight class the legendary Halil Mutlu this was his class and you've got to be quite some act to take that title away from a Turkish legend and after the pupil comes the master and this is uh, Sedat Artuch. <sighs> Champion in 2004-2005. Fourth last year, though. Missed out on the medals by three kilos to Tom Gugaber, who was the bronze yeah. medalist. <laughs> A few steps forward. He's got to stay on that platform, and the feet have got to be still. Got there in the end. This stage a uh, little bit smaller than one or two of you may be used to seeing. Usually it's a 10 by 10 meter stage. This one's 10 meter wide, but 8 meter deep. And there you can see, comes forward, steady, and that's okay. Kiric goes up and now Sedat Artuc, Turkey, second attempt. Sedat Artuc, Turkey. And legally, of course, puts that bar onto the platform, so he's on uh, his way, and the leaderboard shows that Artuc, who weighed in at 55.17, is the lightest of the class, leads on body weight from Gokhan Kilic, his younger teammate. They're on 113 apiece, and Sergi, who's finished lifting, is now down to third, the Moldavian, on 112. Now, Gugaber's on 111 and 114. As I suggested, three kilos would go on here. So this for the lead, and this is Gugaber's last attempt. So, really crucially gets this. Still one man to get started, the young Romanian. This is a way he's done before, on stage, in competition. Come on, come on. Well done, Tom. You're keeping yourself in this. Best of three. Really nice and quiet. Used his energy and his power really well there. And 114. Whizzes him to the top of the leaderboard. It's Belgium from Turkey, from Turkey. But now Tom here. All he can do is wait and see what the others do and then react for the second part of the competition. You can see there's not, there's not a millimeter of fat on the man. Well, this is the man we haven't seen. He announced 115 as his starting weight. Now, when you're that age, 17, you can make progress pretty quickly. And that's exactly what we're looking for here. In the Youth Olympic Games last uh, summer in Singapore, 103 were the number of kilos he lifted in the snatch. So 103 to 115 in about nine months. So this again for the outright lead with his first attempt. Well, he's got the power and he's got the strength. So Romania now to the top, two attempts.